Hello everyone, welcome back to another BD Squad video, and in this video we're going to be playing some Roblox Tower Defense Simulator. So, uh, I haven't played this game in so long. My loadout is... I don't know what my loadout is. Uh, but yeah, it's been so long since I played this game. So, I decided maybe I should try it again. And see what they added. So, the map... The map looks the same from when I did it. <coughs> from when I used to play it. Uh, there's a new shop coming soon in the store. What's this out here? Here's the owners. I guess it's credits. Community art. Yeah. Alright, uh. Well, that's cool. Paintings up there. So I guess let's just get started. Uh, Inferno Abyss. Let's do Winter Bridges. Uh. Jeez, I'm laggy. Okay. We're gonna... Eh, we can keep it. Take that away. For ace pilot. And we don't really need militant. So I guess minigunner. I actually have tried to get the accelerator in this game. But it never really works. I just don't really have the time to grind for it. So... This is gonna be really laggy. It always takes forever to load in. See, it literally says that I'm dead. Okay. Uh, just give it a second. There we go. All right, we're loading into the game. Paradoxon Games Tower Defense Simulator. All right. Okay. Uh, let's do Mullen because who likes normal and Fallen is probably too hard for the stage that I'm at right now. So let's just start by placing an ace pilot. We can start farming for the um, accelerator, add some commanders, an accelerator, mini gunners. We're gonna get some mini gunners, add some commanders, and then if we have enough money near the end, we can get turrets. We technically don't really need turrets, but it's better to be, but it's better to have. So, it's good to have. Okay. Let's let this guy just take over the normals. This part we just have to wait. I might actually cut some of the video out if I need to. So let's upgrade this to level one and then we start farming. Look at that guy, he just took out like half of the normals that spawned. Okay. One shot's done. So let's get a farm. Upgrade it by one. I'm gonna try to get at least um, four or five level one farms. But yeah, if this is boring for you, you can watch this in two times speed if you want. Or skip to the end and see if I survive. This might be kind of a long video. So, uh, sit back and relax if you're gonna watch the whole thing. Uh, it could be, this is gonna be pretty fun. If you guys want me to play with you and help you, if you are a, if you are a noob to the game, just let me know. I'd be happy to help. Alright, now we have some speedies. Easy. Ace pilot didn't even need to go around twice. We're actually gonna get this level two because level two drops nukes. Yep. Look at that. Wiped out all of them besides one speedy. Okay, there we go. But yeah, this is where I basically like to farm. Either here or over here. Okay, now we have some heavies. Or are they slows? They're slows. Heavies are in follow mode. Okay, I'm gonna get probably one more farm. And then, if I want, I can add more. But I think I'm good with five farms. Oh yeah, farms cost, I think, 2,500 coins, if I'm not wrong. I could be wrong, though. But I'm pretty sure that's the amount. So, let's buy that. And can we afford a minigunner? Ooh, okay, I think we just need a couple more dollars. Yep, there it is. Alright, let's place that guy right in the middle. Of that area look at that already okay by wave 10 is it wave 10 or wave 13 because this guy's gonna need hidden okay actually no it's enabled now here's the first normal boss okay maybe that's what I was thinking of yeah look at that already we did six we did like half of its health almost yeah we did okay yeah all right I don't have to worry about that let's get this farm to level 3 and maybe this farm to level 3 too uh, let's get some more farms to level 3. 
let's just try to upgrade our farms to at least level four before buying more miniguns, upgrading more mini mini minigunners, upgrading more minigunners, and getting some turrets too, and commanders because we're gonna need those. All mine are level three now, which is good. Let's get this one to level four, make it an apple farm. Okay, now we got two. We got two bosses. Should be easy. Shoot. Okay, yeah, this guy's range is huge. So. This one I'm getting kind of worried about. Oh, yeah, I'm not the best at this game, so my health, as you can see, it's really not that good. Uh, Ace Pilot's range is. Okay. Yep. Oh, six. Six health. I have OCD. I'm just going to let that guy take care of it. It's kind of a ripoff on my end. But. On the plus side of it, I can get a turret. So I'm just going to place that turret. Turrets have huge range, and when they're maxed, like, look at that. It's already going all the way from spawn to halfway on the bridge. And turrets do an insane amount of health when maxed. So, let's try to upgrade some more farms, and then try to get this guy to level 3. Actually, we could just try to get him to level 3 right now. I only need 300 bucks, and this wave is about to end after all these hiddens. So. Yeah. Let's just wait here. So a lot of hiddens actually. So a lot. Already wave 16 though. And there we go. Oh no, not the ace pilot. Okay, the turret. And get this guy to level 3. Le how much does the turret do? It doesn't. Oh my gosh, it's already done 400 damage. The minigun is done 800. The ace pilot is done 700. Alright, that's not bad. Okay, we can get two upgrade, we can get two farms to level four. And then I'll take a break and start getting more stuff. Maybe getting some commanders. Because it's always good to have call to arms. Call to arms. Or, I don't know what it's called anymore. Now we have some mysteries. Bosses are so easy to take out now. Okay. We just got the minigunner to level three, which is good. And, alright. Let's just get the ace pilot. We might not even need the ace pilot in late game. But, we're just gonna get that guy anyway. Probably gonna max Ace Pilot just because. Look at that, turret is shredding right now. Jeez. Oh, here comes a Necromancer. Oh, he's gonna be dead though. Look at that, that is insane. Okay, how much is the next upgrade on this thing? Oh, I should've brought a DJ. DJs reduce prices, so. That would've been amazing if I would've brought him that. I just earned a couple more dollars. Couple extra more, couple more extra dollars. I'm gonna get this farm to level five, just because. Maybe get another minigunner near the front. This guy doesn't really have that good of range yet, but it's better to have him than to have nothing. Okay, come on. I just need like 200 bucks. We just got some moltens. I think we've had moltens, but yeah. Okay, now we have two level three minigunners. And one level 3 turret. This guy will actually take a while to get to level 4. Alright, look at this. We're literally just automatic. The minigunners don't even need to do anything. The turret is already just taken over. But then there's the Mullins, and then the bosses, and the mysteries. And okay, now we have the slow boss. Things are getting serious here. Uh, okay, we already did 400. Wait, if I skip the wave. Alright, give me the money, give me the money. There we go, a level 4 turret. Oh my gosh, okay, yeah, that does a lot of damage. 13 to 25 bullets, or, do or yeah, jeez. Okay, we already got another slow boss. It's gonna be easy, though. Let's actually get a commander here. This commander, okay, he has every single range. He has all the guys in his range. So we're gonna get called to arms. And maybe we'll get another commander for the Molten Boss, because we know how it goes with the Molten Boss. Okay, alright, got it. Well, if you're new to the game, you might not know how it goes. But... Oh yeah, I also have the Hazmat skin on the Minigunner. So, it would really look like this, which is pretty cool, but uh, looks like this, because of the skin that I have on. So, yeah. Let's get more of these farms upgraded. Oh, that one wasn't even level 3. Or, yeah, level 4 yet. 
How did I not see that? Okay, we almost have all of our five farms maxed. Look at those shocks. Shocks died really quickly. I think we're gonna see two slow bosses? Nah, not th not this wave. Look at that wave already. Normally, norm normally normal mode would be ending. Okay, it was this wave that I was thinking of. Yeah, as you guys can see, I haven't played this game in so long. It's really been a while. I used to love this game. We got two hidden bosses. Hidden bosses hard? No, they're easy. They're just fast and annoying though. All right, there we go. Bye bye, necromancers. Let's just get both of these guys to level three, and get this to level five. And the turret. Let's try to get that upgraded fully. You know, maybe I'll actually get um all eight farms. I think I'm gonna get all eight farms. Six, seven, eight. Oh no, that's already eight. Okay. Gonna try to upgrade them to at least. Actually, we can get this one to max. At least level four. Okay, I need money. Badly. Give me some money, game. Come on, a thousand bucks. There we go. Now I need 7,500 just to get all these upgrades to level 5. And there's a speedy boss who didn't even make it past the second. Well, he kind of made it past the, the third corner? Yeah, I think that's the third corner. Okay, now we have all eight max forms. It's actually. Uh, nah, I'm gonna save up for the last turret upgrade. What's that speedy boss? Oh, he's easy. <clears throat> Soon we're gonna be seeing those mystery bosses, and that's where we'll have to take Call of Arms. Or Call of Arms in. Uh, because those guys are annoying. Oh, shoot. Wait, I might need that right now. Oh, shoot. Oh, boy. Okay, wait, wait. Let's actually upgrade that. That's range is bigger. Okay. Okay. Oh shoot. Okay. All right. We got a little bit of a problem. I'm gonna have to get um, another turret probably. Uh. Oh. Okay. All right. No. No. They got the speed bus. Oh no. Wait. Are they already in? Oh shoot. They're already here. Oh. I think this is. Oh. I think this is. Okay. Yeah. All right. GG. This is GG until I cl un unless I clutch it. Yeah, this is, yeah, GG. GG. This was fun. I can't stop this no matter what I do. Sorry, guys. I just get call to arms just in case. Call of arms. I always say call to arms. It's call of arms, isn't it? I honestly have no idea. Okay, give me some more money. So I, I can at least get a turret. Okay, yep, GG. Jeez, it's either I have a bad lo a loadout or I'm just getting bad at the game. What is that? Okay, I have no idea what that is. Anyway, let's go back into the main game. Dang, yeah, I suck. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try every single mode. Oh yeah, guys, uh, if you saw by the title, I'm actually back. If I remember to put that title in, um, I'm back from my vacation. It was a fun vacation. Uh, yeah. Also, where I went to vacation, I went to vacation in Las Vegas. Um, so yeah. Let's see, what should we do now? Uh, let's not do Badlands actually. I was gonna say let's do it, but that, that map's hard. Let's get a better loadout. What's a good loadout? What do I have? I don't even see my inventory. Okay, if there's one. Th if there's one thing that I know, demo man suck. Militants. It's actually a pretty good uh, starter towel. Tower. Towel? Yeah, tower. Um, I feel like we're going to need something to replace the... Uh, okay, yeah, we can just take that away. Uh, we're going to get the DJ booth. Mm. Oh, ranger. Ranger. Can't place that with the ranger. 
And I guess this is gonna just be a militant round. Let's go on harbor. Oh, I had to change right when I joined. Yeah, whatever. Could get some early game helpers from people with scouts, you know? Cause I'm still gonna, okay, how's this guy? 37, okay, how's this guy? All right, these guys can be pretty good uh, early game. Shout out to Brahman, and uh, I forgot, I don't know what the other guy's name was. Was it Anderson? Yeah, Anderson guy. Okay. Now we're loading back into a game. I bet you this guy's probably gonna pick uh, a normal, no, yeah, normal mode. But I don't know, they could pick fall in for all I know. But yeah, I don't think I can make videos uh, tomorrow, by the way. Oh, they actually picked Molten. At least one of them did. So, we're doing Molten. I'll play some Demo Man right at the sprint. Alright, we're gonna save up. We're gonna... We're gonna where do you put farms in this map? Where do you put farms in this map? I don't know. I mean, I guess you could place them in the corner? Yeah, I guess that's what that guy's doing. Yeah. Okay, I play some kind of late, so that sucks. I don't know if it was a bad idea, be better idea to get a level one farm early game. Yeah, see, that's what happens when you place a demo man right at the start. Those guys don't really have good range. Alright. Come on, game. Come on. There we go. Okay. Okay, now we got a scout. Got a demo man and a scout. Oh, move the demo man actually. Probably to place a scout. Who is that? Bro man? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna get another one. And she give us 200 bucks? Yep. Maybe we should just focus on these two farms for right now. See, the strategy is. Focus on, uh, like, one or two farms early game, because if you just go buy eight farms, that'll give you 400 bucks. 400 bucks. Place troops? Dude, do you know what saving up means? I had the exact amount of money to buy a wheat farm. So this will give you 200, 250 bucks. That's 450 bucks. If you buy eight farms... Four, two fifty times eight, two thousand dollars. I think. So I, I'm not the best at math, okay? But I think that's two thousand dollars. If you do that, um, yeah. If you if you do that at the start of the game, that's two thousand dollars wasted, and you only get four hundred dollars back in return. I'm already earning four hundred fifty. Well, three hundred fifty, but it's way better and I only have two farms I'll be earning 500 bucks if I upgrade this one actually I should probably save up for a militant we're doing kind of bad now just because I don't want to lose place that guy right there there we go see militants are so OP I'm just gonna place that guy back there until I can afford another one I'm gonna get this one at level two maybe try to get a thousand bucks to buy that one but yeah all right now I got two wee farms that'll give me 500 bucks. If I just save up a little after like two waves, should be good. Oh, this guy's also got a militant. Nice. So I got a militant, a ranger, a DJ, farm commander. I'll bring up some commanders late game when I have enough money. All right, 400 bucks. This should give me 900 dollars, right? Yep. Let's get a militant back here. Militants have huge range. If I can get this guy to like level five, militants? Yeah, I think militants can be level five. Then he'll be insane. These guys actually get hidden detection really early, but their next upgrade is insane. Milton's actually got buff. Milton's used to suck. Like, they used to be Demo Man. They used to be, uh, Scout. Freezer. Freezers actually do nothing. Unless you have a skin that helps them, but. Yeah, Freezers suck. Moral of the story Freezers suck. So, I'm so glad that the militant got buffed. 
It's actually really good. See, watch this normal boss when the militant goes to it. Look at that. This guy decided he was going to put a demo man there after all. Oh, someone added the sniper too. See, militants have huge range. That guy was still shooting when he was right here. And this militant, if he... He could still shoot that guy if he wanted, right here. We got another demo man over there. Okay. I mean, that's okay. <laughs> uh, let's actually upgrade that. I think I'm just going to focus on these two farms, because these guys are placing scouts, snipers, and demo mans. So, yeah. I mean, I did... Okay, maybe I don't need that militant anymore. I need extra money anyway. And let's get that upgraded, and maybe get a level 1 farm. Oh, uh, sorry. Okay. Got two normal buses. This is where you need call farms. Should be good. Still have 112 health. Yeah. Okay, that's... I'm not gonna have enough money to buy that next upgrade. Yeah, look at that. Okay. We got him. Uh, let's get that upgraded. And maybe you try to afford another militant up here. There we go. Save up for level 2 upgrade. It's pretty fun. If you guys are enjoying this and want to see more TDS content like this, or Tower Defense Simulator content, just uh, subscribe to my channel. And if you don't want to, that's totally your choice. But yeah, I like making these videos. And if you guys want me to make videos on anything else, just let me know and I'll be happy to. Um, I heard the Adopt Me updated, and there's something for 4,000 Adopt Me bucks, so maybe I could make a video on just me grinding if you guys want to see that. Um, so, yeah, how much is my next Militant upgrade? Oh, it's 3,500, I could buy it. Yeah, look at that guy. Look at that, he's shredding those bosses. Since when did they get four mini runners? Okay, I think I need to get some Rangers in here. Yeah, I'm gonna get a Ranger. Can rangers? Where did the rangers go? Rangers can go right here. There we go. Alright, we just got a ranger. So, rangers have a huge cooldown. Or, er, well, they kind of suck when it comes to that. Snipers are even worse, but uh, rangers are really good when it's upgraded a lot. Look at that, 65 to 125. Like, these are really good for going against Fallen Kings, Nuclear Fallen Kings, Event Bosses. They're just OP. When they need to be OP. Let's try to get another farm over here, and at least get half farms. Try to get to them, try to get them to level 3. I can actually get one to level 4, if I wanted to. Alright, we got an apple farm now. This guy's already got an apple farm too. Okay. Oh, we already finished that wave? That was quick. Okay, I think I'm gonna get a commander. What's it? Where's a good place to place this? I guess right here? Can I reach everything? Can reach up to this militant. This, mil this militant. So, if we're ever struggling, we can just, uh, do Call of Arms and should be good. Let's get another one to level 3. Or, level 4. Sorry. Right, look at how easy these hiddens are. Once we get the slow boss, did we already get the slow boss? Oh no, the slow boss is right here. Okay, I think it's time to up do uh, call of arms. Do we even need call of arms? He's already getting shredded. Okay, yep, that was really easy. Let's actually get a max farm just because we're not. Look at that slow boss. Actually, it's not that much help on them yet, but probably still kill them. Yep. And there goes the Necromancer too. Look at the Necromancer's health. Just dead. Okay. Let's buy that before the next wave. Alright, now we have 4,000. I think it's time we get a DJ. What's a good spot to place a DJ? Right here? Should have a huge range of all of them. Ooh, discount buff. Yep. 25% range buff. Ooh, that on the ranger? His is literally half the map. Maybe more than half of the map. Nah, I think it's about half the map. 
I'm actually gonna upgrade my ranger a little. Yeah, look at that discounted prices. Look at those discounted prices. Try to save up to upgrade this guy. Okay, come on. Actually, let's let's buy this upgrade first. Just gonna max DJ. You don't really need a max commander. I mean, it does give a fire rate buff, and it does more damage if you use color worms. But I suggest just kind of getting it to level two, because it's really helpful when you need it. Oh, and then there's these shocks. Yeah, the ranger's range is, it's almost to our farms all the way over there. That's insane. Oh yeah, the thing about DJ is you can only place one per round. So, kind of sucks, but they're already 2 OP on their own. So. Uh, yeah. Let's, um, upgrade the ranger. You can do 205 to 300 health on the next thing. And let's try to get this commander to max, just because, even though I said you don't really need it, I'll just get him to level 3, I'll decide if I need him max later. And let's fire him to level 4. This guy's already got all max farms. Oh no, he's got 6 farms. Okay. Let's get that one to max, actually. And, <clears throat> do I need anything else? What is that pyromancer skin? Okay. Pretty cool. Number one tower. I'm pretty sure the golden pyromancers got buffed. I'm not 100% sure. But I think they're a little bit better than they used to be. Pyromancers really had no purpose besides in the frost event. Alright, the one with the, um, forgot his name. Last year, or 2020. Yeah. So Krampus was the year before that. When it was like the Frost Lord or something. Yeah, I can't think of it right now. All right, let's get this guy to max. He's gonna do 205 to 300, 205 to 300 damage. Oh my gosh, that can do basically like a sixth of um, or like a, an eighth of the slow boss's health, which is insane. Way too overpowered. <laughs> oh shoot! Now that we got mystery bosses. Uh, actually, okay, I was gonna say if they didn't give speedy bosses, but we still got the speedy bosses dead. Still easy. Let's get that commander to max. Just because, do color worms. We're really overpowered with color worms. Look at that ranger's range. Maybe like seven eighths of the map, or three fourths of the map. Jeez. Okay. Good RNG, good RNG, good RNG. Come on, please. Okay, we actually had good RNG. <clears throat> Can't clear my throat. Okay, let's get this militant to max. Let's try to get all my towers to max. Max commander, max ranger. Is there anything else that I have? I mean, I guess I can just max out in farms. Let's get that one maxed out. Do I really need more farms? I mean, I'm gonna sell them at the Molten Boss if we make it that far anyway. Oh yeah, that's another tactic, by the way. If you're new to the game, and you just got farms, and you have, like, all of them to, like, level 5, sell them at the end of the game, so then you can earn some extra cash for whatever boss it is. If you're fighting the Grave Digger, if you're fighting <laughs> the Void Reaver, you have to be level 50, because that's hardcore mode. And you have to be really OP, too. But anyway, if you're fighting the Grave Digger, um, Molten Boss, and Fallen King, most likely... Then you're gonna need to sell your farms just to earn some extra money because those boxes, those bosses can be hard. Did I already get another farm and just max it out? Okay, I don't really know if we even need these spots, so I'm just gonna take them over with farms. All right, there we go. Now I have uh, seven farms, I think. Yep, that's eight. Okay, now I have max farms, all of them. What else do I need? I mean, we don't really need another ranger, but I mean, it's best to have one. So, I got one. Even this guy's range is insane. It's already on, It's already at one farm. It's already at his farm. This is just insane. Crazy. 
Um, okay. And now I just need twenty thousand dollars. I actually don't know what the real price is. The DJ is having a twenty eight percent uh discount buff. I don't know what it is normally for the Rangers. Is it like thirty thousand? It's actually a lot. I don't know, honestly. Good RNG, no. No good RNG, good RNG. No. Okay, that was like okay RNG. They still all died really quickly. Let's get some militants back here. Max militants just because. Alright. Nice. Okay. At the um when this round ends. Oh, we're gonna have molten titan soon. Let me just get Call of Arms. Okay, yeah, we already okay. Uh but um when this game ends, uh what I'm really uh I think I'm gonna end the video because these videos take a long time to upload. And um yeah, so uh, here's a molten boss. Oh yeah, look at the time, guys. By the way, if your time runs out, I don't really think anything happens. I think your time just runs out. It would basically be impossible unless you had like a way to like freeze a boss. I honestly think that that it there is a way to do that, but I don't know. Okay, let's get call of arms again. This guy can do six to ten damage. Come on. Okay, there we go. Already did ten thousand health. Look at this health depleting with the call of arms. This guy's range is insane. He's reaching every single one besides snipers and that guy over there. <laughs> but, oh yeah, self arms, self arms. I'm the one who said that and I didn't even do that. Look at my money already, everybody. That's what happens when you have farms and. Yeah. Okay, yep. Okay, yeah, that's my, that's my farm. Is any of these my farm? No, it's all his farms. Okay. And. I guess. GG? Are these guys even talking? I oh, know. Why does that give a notification? Okay, last time they talked, this place is troops. Thinking about troops. So, that was a fun round. One round we failed, another round we won. With the people who placed demo mans and snipers. Well, they also played, uh, pl placed, um, militants, mini gunners. So, I can't really be complaining too much. Once I load in, um, I think, uh, that's gonna, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you smash the like button, smash that seven. It would really help out the channel. And we did, we just reached 90 subscribers a while ago. So I'd really appreciate it if you hit that red button and made it gray. Cause I really want to reach 100 subscribers by the end of the year. It would really help me out so much. But you don't have to if you don't want to. And if you subscribe and want to unsubscribe later, that's totally your choice. I'm not forcing you to subscribe. I just said it would be really appreciate, I would really appreciate it. But, um, yeah. So, once again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and peace!